Hi guys! Today I'm going to show you how to set up custom image effects in the Universal Render Pipeline in Unity. The image effect shader we will be making is projecting a gradient map over the camera view. Here are some examples of what it might look like. Let's get started. So here I am in Unity 2020 and um, this is just a little scene from my water interaction tutorial. As you can see you move around and there's some ripples and stuff. And I've already set up the universal render pipeline. Uh, it's imported and you can see I've got the forward render and here is the universal render pipeline. Now you may have seen some cool image effects online uh, from the legacy pipeline and you'll find that they won't work in URP. But actually you can make them work uh, and Unity has a GitHub page where they've provided these two bits of code. I'll show you in a second. And all you gotta do is import these and then I'll show you how to set it up. So you can find these two scripts over here on Unity's GitHub page under Universal Rendering Examples. If you go here in Assets, Scripts, Runtime, Render Passes, then here is Blit.cs and BlitPass.cs. And those are the two you need. Uh, I'll have them linked down below as well if you don't want to go through GitHub. So just grab these two scripts. So when you have these two scripts imported, if you go to the forward renderer, then now it should show up right here. It'll say blit. If you go to add render feature, um, it'll say render object experimental. That's the only one that's uh, standard in the URP. And now under that there is blit. So select blit. And as you can see, it gives the option to add in a material here, and that will be the image effect shader we'll be writing in a bit. But to create a new image effect shader, go to create, shader, and then image effect shader. So uh, we won't be using shader graph for this, but we're, we're just going to add a few lines. It's not scary, I swear. And if you don't want to, deal with writing any code, the code will be linked below. Open up the shader and just to quickly check if everything's working, when you create a shader like this, um, it'll already have an effect which is just inverting the colors, it says so right here. So you take the, uh, the screen and invert by going one minus the screen basically. So since this already has an effect, Let's go back to the editor and create a material from this. And then go over here to the new blitz effect and drag in the material. And you can see right away um, it's already inverting everything, so we know it's working. So back to the shader, what we want to do is add up all three color channels and then divide them by three so we get an average number. Uh, which will be a grayscale result. So we go float grayscale is color R plus color G plus color B and then divide by 3. Well, if we return this, the result will be completely grayscale. Or it would be, um, as you can see, uh, the water is now still blue. That's because over here, you can see that it says after rendering opaques. And because the water is transparent, it won't be uh, turned gray. So we need to set this to after rendering transparent. And now you can see that the whole result is grayscale. 
so what we're going to do next is maybe easier shown in Photoshop. Uh, here I have a screenshot from the game view. And what we'll do in Unity is the same as an adjustment layer in Photoshop. So if I go here to Gradient Map, you can see that it takes the grayscale image and projects new colors onto it. Uh, this is actually reversed, so if I bring it back you can see that the gradient here corresponds with uh, the gradient from the grayscale image. So if in the center I add a new color, you can see that what would normally be gray is now blue. And what's normally white turns pink and what's normally black or close to black turns purple. So that's the same effect we'll be doing. So back in Unity, what we need to do is bring in a new texture that will interpolate over the grayscale just like in Photoshop. So here at the top, copy the main texture, rename this to Gradient Map. This will now show up in the Material Inspector and also add the gradient map here so we can actually use it in code. Now under here uh, we don't need this anymore. Fixed for gradient is text to D. And then just like before, only this time we use the gradient map. And instead of the UVs we use the grayscale. And now return the gradient value. And if we go back to Unity, everything will turn white because we don't have texture yet. Go to the material and you can see the new property gradient map. So select texture. And I have a color palette here. And as you can see now, the whole scene is just using the colors from the gradient map. If you see a lot of banding here, Go to your texture and make sure that the wrap mode is set to clamp instead of repeat. If we hit play now you can see that the effect leans a lot towards the dark parts of the gradient. Uh, this is affected by your light intensity so if you increase that you can see more of the tones. Uh, especially on the sphere there you can see the bands of the gradient. But another way to adjust this is in the shader. You can add in a new slider here to control the intensity of the grayscale. So expose it to the shader. And before we make the gradient, just multiply the grayscale by this new intensity value. And now you can change the intensity on the material. I think something like that would look nice. And now you have a cool gradient map shader. One more thing we can add is, uh, let's say you only want the shadows to be colored and nothing else. You can make the gradient effect transparent so that the original camera view shines through. To do this, go back to the shader and multiply the gradient with its alpha. Then add in the inverted alpha of the gradient map and multiply this with the original color. If we now select a texture with transparency, you can see that we have colored shadows, they're all purple now, and you can control where they show up. So if you want a lot of purple or just a little, you can now give a really unique look to your game. So try out some different textures and have some fun with it. The post with all of the resources is linked in the description, so try it out. If you want to see more tutorials, I have a website where all of them are listed and there are a lot of them by now. Uh, the link is in the description, so be sure to check it out.